it just it just brings me back. I I used to, I actually got upset because there's a movie theater by me that had like a, a Marvel two cabinet, so I just oh, assumed I every I just assumed every cabinet was a Marvel two cabinet. It wasn't, and then I found out it was Fatal Fury, and then I'm like, oh, that's not Mega Man, but either of these characters. So yeah, right. We're gonna get started. PS two is the pay. Finally. Oh, that's a uh, okay. I, I knew Jeb played uh, Zero Suit Samus in uh, in Brawl. That was like one of his old mains. Right. And a little bit in Smash Four, to my knowledge. Uh, primarily Lucas main in that game, but. Yeah, playing Zero Suit Samus here. Lava going to be rocking the, the Young Link, so let us see uh, what happens here. My thing with Young Link is always, like, a lot of people just hate the character just based on the play style. I think when you play a character with a lot of items, you, you have a choice. You play them, <laughs> you can not approach, or you can approach and be cool. But we'll see how Jeb does getting around all of the projectiles. I mean, right now he's doing a great job. He's just kind of not letting Lava set up. He's throwing out one item at a time, just the boomerang into the arrow. Ooh, I love the drop down. Yeah, so, oh, that's going to be uh, dead lava. Okay, no, no the bomb blown not. up just in time. I wasn't sure if it was going to detonate before he reached the blast zone. But, yeah, Zero Two Tamas, I think, just does really well against, like, these projectile zoners because, uh, A, she jumps really high, so she's going to be able to escape a lot of these, uh, you know, projectile traps just by jumping over them. And, B, landing with neutral air is so huge for her because that's, like, essentially one of her... It's, it's her bread and butter combo starter, so, like... You know, being able to approach it at 45 degree angle above, like, Young Link, where he can't really reach you, unless he reads that you're going to jump at him, is super huge in this matchup. But Lava's done a good job bringing it back so far. For sure. Ooh, Plasma Whip almost gets him. Gets the misread. Gets the up air, though. Jeb's been getting really good mileage out of that uh, Zare, being a great jumping uh, tool, especially because, like, um, Lava's just kind of hanging out in that, like, dead space in front of him when he's, like, throwing these projectiles. I feel like Jeb is also using, like, the platforms to his advantage a lot. You know, Zero Suit is a very fast character. And being able to kind of, like, mix up the approach with platforms is perfect. There you go. Okay, no, no boomerang on the backswing. I thought it was going to come back again. There we go. Again, just making great use of that Zare. Just, you know, because Lava's, you know, option when, like, Jeb's just going to jump and add to, like, retreat. And Zero Suit Samus just has so much range uh, to be able to, to counter that. But the neutral air out of shield will uh, clean up that first stock for Lava. So. Ooh, the bomb into the hero spin into the up air. That's a lot of damage. Hero spin being a combo move is so strange to me. Like, that like combos into stuff like up air and stuff at these like, mid like early mid percent, and it's so funny. I think the key to this matchup for Lava is to keep Jeb on the ledge and just don't let him off. The moment that you're going to give Jeb space to kind of boost kick out, is the moment where you're in trouble. Yeah, keeping Zero Suit Samus in, in disadvantage is hard. Oh, because she has a, she, yeah, yeah, she has like she has basically like a, a skip jail and get out of jail free card. Like, right. go directly past home. Do not collect two hundred dollars, etc. <laughs> because with down B, ooh. Okay, there's back to the ledge that almost connected right there, and uh, Jeb autopiloting, thinking that he got the. Uh, the, the down smash confirmed. Right, but no punish on it, so it's technically safe. Kind of glide around these platforms right now. Lava doing a good job keeping uh, Jeb in, you know, trapped in the ledge right now. Just all of this, just all of this spacing. Ooh. Okay, wow, that interesting. was interesting. Yeah. You know what? Good enough, right? It's better than missing it's better than missing the up B and then getting punished for it. Goes for the up smash, which I believe probably scoops, right? Which is why the option. I, I'd imagine so. He probably thought he was gonna jump in at him, so at the range he would have been at, yeah, most definitely. Okay, goes for the dash attack out of there again. Back forwarder though. Jump's gotta watch out for that. If he hits that mid stage, I believe that's gonna kill. Forward throw, almost killing. Wow. My god. That's how you know you're living to a long to a high percent. Great. Ooh. And coming in, ooh, gonna get hit with the boomerang, but not the arrow. He could have gotten a way bigger punish out of that too. Looks like he was just scared to run up on him. Okay. Up B though, gonna be safe too. Jump living at 164. Yeah, that's crazy. So, yeah, Zero Suit Sam is definitely uh, a, fra a frail frame character. Oh no. There we go. This is what I this is what I was waiting to see for Jeff. Kind of like the misstep in the item, and then just kind of punishing accordingly. I mean, that was 50. Like 56 percent off of just one miss move. Yeah, like Zero Suit Samus isn't as explosive as a character she was in the past iteration of Smash, but she's a much more consistent character in regards to just total damage. And right now, Jeb finally doing a good job. Looks like whatever it was, uh, <laughs> looks like he just understands what to do against Young Link a lot better on this stock now. Up it though, 
still trying to fight his way back in. I feel like he needs to do a lot more of these boomerang fairs because fair is such a good spacing tool that Link have. All of the Links actually yes. have. It's getting close. Lava can't let can't let Gem retreat to center stage like this. Oh, but there we go. The back air will catch the jump, and that will be game one. Going to Jeb. You know, a little bit of a, of a I'd say a slow slugfest, like uh, kind of a slow bleed, but it definitely looked like Jeb, uh, Jeb was trying to figure out what was going on because um, and Lava just, you know, he was starting to catch on near the end too, so maybe looked to clean things up a bit. Like you said, maybe go for a lot more of the guaranteed stuff. It looks like he was trying to get a little bit, he looked like he was just afraid. Like he was on his back foot uh, a large majority of that game. So we'll see what the response is. No, for sure. I felt like there was a lot of adaptation from Jeb in that match. I mean, it's it's kind of hard to adapt to somebody who just kind of throws things. But yeah. once you kind of download their pattern, I felt like Jeb was going in more, more um, like cautiously, more planned, more so than just kind of like throwing out the plasma whip and hoping that it connects. Let's see what the response is here from Lava. Starting off with the uh, the hero spin, but not going to be able to get the combo. Uh, Afterwards, get the grab there. Ooh, goes for the up smash. Not gonna get it. Good punish by Lava though. Okay, Zare <laughs> interrupting the fire arrow right there. So. I don't question it. It's ultimate. Hey, it's it's plasma. You know. <laughs> Ooh, nice wait on the boost kick into the forward throw. Gonna keep Jeff off stage. I really like this, but said retreats to center stage. Yeah, again, just opt to use that flip jump just to escape this any semblance of disadvantage. Cause Zero Suit Samus just can do that. Yeah, Ooh, okay, nice parry into the back air. Okay, Jeb uh, <laughs> canceling his tether right there to maybe catch Lava sleeping. It was it was clever, it was creative. Okay, Zara once again gonna interrupt the boomerang. The back air out of shields, not getting the kill sparks, but not enough to kill just yet as Lava off to a great start in this first game. That up tilt going to be punished. That move a lot laggier than it was in its past iteration, too. So, I do like how Jeb is canceling his... That's the second time he's canceled the uh, the tether. Not there, but I feel like uh, Jeb is really good at mixing up. So it's kind of hard for players to catch on to what he's really doing. Yep. That fair almost didn't kill. Wow. Almost. That's crazy. Yeah, able to get the job done. So now Lava finds himself Ooh. up right here, but nice faint right there uh, from Jeb. Just waiting for the tether to miss and then... Countering nicely with the back air. All right, uh, here's where once again, that will combo into the up air, but Jeb you know, forces his way back to the ground with the, the dive kick. I feel like we're watching the repeat of the same stock that we just saw from yeah. both of them. He started off with a hero spin last stock, and now he's doing it again. Deja Vu is a hell of a drug. Ooh, down I thought tilt. he wasn't going to punish for a second. <laughs> okay. I was kind of nervous. That I was sick. that killed. That was super sick, because Zero Suit Zanus' down tilt is like, I just think of like the kombucha tea meme where it's just like, uh, and then he come into the back and I'm like, okay. Lit. Yeah, that was that was really, really nice stuff right there. Jeb, though, keeping on the pressure, he realizes that this could be over now if he finishes this out. Sure, yeah, he definitely looks like he's in firm control right now, and he's shown to turn it up on the last stock, like whatever it is, he just kind of like, everything just starts like operating on, on, uh, on all cylinders. Right. <laughs> okay. Shores there, whatever. Ooh, both the, the tether grabs counting each other out. Baba needs this stock now, but he's gonna get up there. If he was really would have gone for the boost kick, I'm just oh, saying. Yeah. Ooh, he went for it there though. Okay, landing neutral air into the raw back air. That will do it, and what a response from Jeb. He moves on in winter side.